Good evening, Good evening, Mr. Chair, Commissioners, Dr. Thorne. My name is Sekou Kasimo. Sekou means fight. They say if you see a good fight, get in it. I'm in it. <laughs> I want you to know that I wrestled with this for a long time. Up until 4 or 5 o'clock this morning, I decided on my way here. I support you, and I support the bill. And I'm glad y'all had the wisdom to support that bill. Senator Joan Carter Conway usually gets it right, and again, she got it right this time. Now, I've heard folk refer to black boys and African-American males. Well, I used to be a black boy. I'm still an African-American male. I'm 65. I like to think I'm older and wiser. I'm a product of Baltimore City Public Schools. Every elementary class of 61, girls and junior high school class of 64, Douglas High School class of 68. Y'all do the math. <laughs> When I was volunteering at Matthew Henson, I saw things that I did not see from the outside. And I guess that stands to, to be the case, right? But we had a lockdown situation because there were some shots fired around the corner, and Sandy Hook came to mind. And I'm thinking, if whoever that is doing this shooting comes to their school, not only can I not protect the children, I can't protect myself. Now, I can hang out the window and, drunk from, and jump, drop down from the second floor and not get hurt. Well, what about the children? Right? And I ran this by my church elders. I'm 65. I went to the 80, 90 year olds. And they were surprised to find out that the police officers didn't carry guns in the building. I was surprised myself. What good is an unarmed police officer? I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna lose my rebel membership card in the community. But again, that neighborhood, now it may vary from one neighborhood and one school to the next, but I actually saw a guy get shot to death. He got shot 20 times on the corner of Monroe and Baker, two blocks from Payson and Baker where Matthew Henson Elementary School is. So I'm talking about real life experience and observation. I'm an old man, I don't rely on a lot of studies and statistics. I want real life experiences, practical experiences, everyday experiences. I've had to literally run for my, from, for my life from gunmen on the street with guns. I heard somebody say there's not a gun toting thug around the corner, around Matthew Henson there. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to share that with you and be in brief and to the point as possible. And like my mentor say, make it plain and make it brief. I'm out. <laughs> contentious issue. This is an issue that warranted a lot of previous conversation. It's an issue that this school board failed to engage the community in early on until you were forced to by our legislators. Unfortunately, you still not laid out the justification for this proposed change in the law. Um, there is still an opportunity for you to do the right thing. You need to tell us in explicit terms why across the board this is the right solution. I find it very hard to understand that there is a need for 144 armed officers in our school when you don't have the same or equal or higher number of mental health professionals or counselors. Um, you know, our children, have problems, many of them, that a gun is not going to solve. You've not told us how you're going to solve those problems, but instead you've determined that you want to help the police officers get their 20-year retirement opportunity, um, which is, we know that's what this is about. 
they want they want they want to get their opportunity in the spotlight to look and feel just like every other police officer in America. But that's neither here nor there. Because this is about our children. And until you have the conversations directly with the parents and the children who you've ignored, okay, this isn't going anywhere. Because this little charade tonight that you're having, okay, is inadequate in terms of a conversation with us. Because you need to tell us how you're going to address our children's problems. And it's not with a gun. And do not offend us anymore by telling us that you're doing this for their benefit. Because it's not about our children, and you know it. Put a mental health professional in every school. Not just for the children, because there's some crazy adults out there, too. Some of these principals who don't get it who not sitting here asking for a mental health professional and counselors, get rid of them, okay? This board is not gonna look like this next year, okay? I promise you that. I've been fighting to change this foul, obnoxious board for three years. You don't care about our children. You signed contracts for incinerators. You put cell towers on the buildings and now you want guns in the school. Administrators and Supervisors Association, Zaza, who uh, represents our principals, has asked me, uh, has asked us to read this thing to uh, the record. It was a survey conducted by the Executive Board of Zaza. The survey was conducted to find out if, in fact, school police should be allowed to carry guns in the schools. Uh, out of approximately 600 members, 100 voted yes and 28 voted no. Uh, as a result, the Executive Board of Zaza fully supports school police carrying guns in schools. Well, that concludes uh, uh, tonight's public uh, public hearing. Um, I do know that this was late in coming. I, I will tell you that this is not a charade. Uh, we are very interested in what you have to say, and we hope that you keep letting us know. Um, I'll apologize to the school board in the inartful way that this was presented to you, that it was not clear from our legislative platform what was going on, and we apologize for that. Uh, however, it doesn't change that this is a platform of the school board, and, and now that we're having an opportunity to hear from the public, uh, certainly we're going to consider that. So, Dr. Point, you may not. Thank you very much. It's certainly great to hear all the voices. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. You know, as a community, we need to hear multiple voices. Let me tell you what next steps are. It's based on tonight and other information as we continue to have conversations. There'll be a recommendation made to the board, and the board certainly commission will certainly have the opportunity to like to extend my gratitude to all of you for coming out and sharing your thoughts. There's certainly opportunities for improvement. Any good organization is always looking for ways in which they can improve. You know, I heard tonight very clearly around the whole issue of communication and strategies and things of that nature. So as we move forward, I will assure you that that conversation has begun. And we're moving in very aggressively, certainly to position ourselves that we can certainly have a trusted community at the same time, the safety and welfare of your children. So thank you so much for coming. I hope you stay for the entire meeting because that's some good stuff to talk about. Thank you. We're going to take a couple minute break just to let folks clear out the meeting.